Hey ladies and gentlemen, Steven here from Meta Lessons. Welcome back to another video. Thank you so much for joining me today. Really do appreciate your time and your viewership. It means a lot. And in today's video, I'm going to be giving you my thoughts on Elation by Navitus Parfum. I'm excited to give you my thoughts on this fragrance, what I get from the smell and all that good stuff. So make sure to stay tuned. Now, before I begin my assessment or review of Elation by Navitus Parfum, and I tell you all about this fragrance, the perfumer, what it smells like, the creative direction, so on and so forth, I do wanna mention that if you are a fan of fragrance-related content, if you like fragrance reviews here on YouTube, but also top 10 videos, giveaways, unboxings, and more, please do consider supporting this channel by subscribing to it. All you gotta do is click on that red button in the corner. And of course, if you can give this video a thumbs up, it would really mean a lot to me. And so I do wanna start things off by saying that I am actually the founding creative director of Navitus Parfum. And uh, this particular fragrance was actually creatively directed by B from the channel Big Beard Business. And so I'm gonna leave a link to his channel down below. Definitely check him out, really successful channel, over 100,000 subscribers. One of my favorite reviewers to watch and he's also incredibly knowledgeable. And for this particular fragrance, he collaborated with the perfumer Bertrand Duchafort, who is based out of Paris, France, to work on this awesome fragrance, which has some fougere elements, but it's also very, very citrusy, incredibly long lasting as well. And it has actually been one of my favorite fragrances to wear for the summertime from the brand. And I've actually also done a top five of my summer favorites. I'm gonna leave a card to that video up here, of course, I mention elation in that video but in any case i'm excited to get on with my thoughts let's start things off with the presentation So just to start things off, you saw in the presentation segment that inside every purchase of Navitus Parfum is this card that's included. This is part of the Enamored collection. All of the five fragrances from the Big Beard business lineup are actually in the Enamored collection. This fragrance is described as being fresh, uplifting, and invigorating, and I 100% agree with all three of those adjectives. So this composition by Bertrand Duchafort opens up with bergamot lime, clementine, pomelo, Brazilian orange, yuzu, and litsia cubiba. And so it has a ton of citrus in the opening. And then in the hearts, you have some more aromatic tones like geranium, lavender, pettit grain, which also gives off a bit of a citrusy woodsy vibe. Clary sage and juniper berry, and that can be a little woodsy at time as well. And in the base, you have Spanish nutmeg, a Shepra accord, moss, Indonesian patchouli, musk, amberwood, and driftwood. So you can see it actually goes in a few different directions. It's a little musky at times, it's a little green at times, it's certainly very citrusy, and it has a lot of natural ingredients here as well. So you saw the country of origin of a lot of the ingredients being used in this fragrance. So it's a nice balance of naturals and synthetic. So Oh my goodness, right in the opening, you get that combination of the yuzu, the clementine, and it just has like this very bright, refreshing and uplifting, just like the adjectives on here, this uplifting and refreshing vibe that is conveyed on account of all the citrus that is used in the opening. And I personally love that top accord, if you will, because it lasts such a long time on my skin. I was actually quite surprised. Usually in the case of a lot of citrus ingredients, they dissipate after, you know, five, 10, 15 minutes. I'm getting that citrusy tonality for like the first hour or so and then some. And I feel like one thing that has a lot to do with that is the pedigrain that's in the heart. So pedigrain can be citrusy, but it can also be woodsy as well. So I feel like that citrusy tone is retained well into the dry down of this fragrance on account of the pedigrain. But then you also have some other fresh ingredients working their magic in here as well. The patchouli is not one of them, but I certainly do feel as though the driftwood kind of has that bright, sort of summery, fresh, slightly salty vibe. I know driftwood 
It's one of those ingredients that is used in a lot of aquatic fragrances just because it does convey a bit of like that woodsy, fresh, salty aroma. And there's a, a touch of that going on in here, but it's not overwhelming. In terms of the heart notes, however, in addition to the pedigree, I feel like the other ingredient that's really uh, being shed light on here is the lavender note. So the lavender note actually comes across very bright. It, it gives it that agressed accord that I think is so classic and elegant and I think it also does wonders in terms of the versatility for this fragrance and so if you had just a, a bright citrusy fragrance that very quickly transitioned into a base of driftwood then it would be a little bit more linear or it would be a little bit more limited in terms of the wearability but I think the geranium the lavender really adds this classy elegant posh quality to the fragrance that increases the versatility quite significantly. And so had it been a plain citrus fragrance, I would say wear it in the summertime, wear it casually, but now the lavender, that Chipra Accord, the Indonesian patchouli, the Spanish nutmeg, all of those bright, flavorful, but also aromatic and spicy ingredients make it not just a casual, but also a formal fragrance. And I think this one can be worn well into the autumn and winter as well because of how potent it is and because of how long it lasts. Now, Bertrand Duchafour is one of my favorite perfumers out there. I love his work just as much as I love the work of Cecile Zorokian, Guillaume Flavigny, Dominic Ropion, Francis Kirkjian, you know, Olivier Cresp, Olivier Polge. There's so many really accomplished perfumers out there. And I had the pleasure of meeting Bertrand Duchafour in person a couple of times when I actually went over to Paris, France. We had lunch together and we, we spoke at length and he's incredibly passionate, incredibly knowledgeable. He's also made some of my favorite fragrances ever, including Incense Avignon by Comme des Garçons, Jubilation 25 by Amouage. He's such an awesome perfumer and this is yet another amazing composition of his and one that I actually, while I did receive this bottle for free because I am one of the founding creative directors of the brand, I loved this fragrance so much when I first smelled it. I actually went and bought a bottle as well. I didn't have to. I can always just request a free bottle uh, just because of my relationship with the brand, but I really love what B from Big Beard Business did with this fragrance and I wanted to support him. So I actually went out there and I purchased the bottle, but I love this fragrance so much and I really got to give kudos to him. I know he's very hardworking and of course he's produced fragrances like Idola, Exalt Nuit, both of which were actually Francis Kirkjohn and Jerome de Marino fragrances. Verve Matan, which is another Bertrand du Chauffeur composition, very bright and uplifting. And then you also have Soir Exclusive, which is this really decadent, gourmand, nutty, um, romantic type of a fragrance. So, you know, he did an amazing job with his five fragrances in the collection. But Elation is one that is a Swiss Army knife, super versatile. Definitely recommend that you check this one out. Let's go ahead and finish things off with my overall assessment. So first up, in terms of the uniqueness and the overall smell, this is a really unique fragrance. It goes in so many different directions. And, you know, even when I try to compare it to other yuzu fragrances, other lavender fragrances, other geranium fragrances, other patchouli fragrances, I really can't. And everything from the yuzu, the Spanish nutmeg, the Indonesian patchouli, the geranium, the clary sage, the juniper, the clementine, the pomelo, the pedigree, everything that's used in here just coalesces into this beautiful, fresh, upscale, posh, elegant, and gentlemanly vibe, but I also think it's gentle, gentle womanly, right? I think a woman can pull this off as well because it does contain a lot of unisex ingredients. So very pleasant smell, very unique and very versatile. Longevity on this is 10 plus hours. This is uh, very strongly concentrated at around 25% concentration of oil. So very, very strong stuff. In terms of the projection on this fragrance, it projects very well beyond an arm's length for the first two hours of application and that ton of citrus you get in the opening really has a lot to do with that. It didn't start to sit closer to the skin until about that seven and a half hour mark. So the performance is very, very good. In terms of the versatility, I think it can be worn by both men and women. I think this one can work all year round in the summertime because of the abundant citrus, but also in the colder weather as well, just because of how strong the fragrance is. And of course, all of those base ingredients like the patchouli and the amber wood and the driftwood, so on and so forth. I think 
in terms of age range. Anybody of any age can wear this one. I think the citrus is kind of casual and would appeal to somebody who's a little bit younger, but I think the lavender and the geranium and those sort of um, sophisticated elements about the fragrance would appeal to a connoisseur of fragrances, somebody who's a little bit older as well. So incredibly versatile. And in terms of the presentation, everything from the Zamac cap to the pressurized sprayer to the name, the bottle, the box, the card, the dedication to the perfumer, everything about this fragrance I love. And I'm a little biased because I did have a lot to do with the presentation as one of the founding creative, as the founding creative director. So my final verdict on this fragrance is if you are a fan of citrus fragrances and you want to pair that with a Sheepra Accord, a little bit of moss, a little bit of patchouli, uh, a nice touch of lavender, which is not overly strong, some geranium to really spice things up, make it a little bit more airy, please check this one out. Elation is an awesome fragrance and what a name to give this fragrance. You feel elated, you feel happy, you feel jubilant, you're in a good mood and this really is a spirit lifter and a pick-me-up for me. It always puts me in a good mood. Definitely one of my favorite fragrances from the brand. It's hard to pick a favorite, uh, but this one is right up there in terms of the ones that get the most play from me. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for watching. That was my fragrance review of Elation by Navitus Parfum. Job well done, big beard business. So if you are interested in picking up this fragrance or sampling it, I'm gonna leave a few links down below. And I also wanna mention that if you are new to this channel and you took something of value from this video, I would really appreciate it if you would consider supporting this channel by subscribing to it. And once again, if you can give this video a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, it would also mean a lot to me. Thanks again for watching. Love you all. We'll see you soon. Bye.